Welcome to App Design Tips. This video is part of a free complete icon design tutorial. If you want to follow along, you can download the exercise files using the link in the description below. Now we're finally ready to export our icons and the way you export them is going to determine on what you do with them later. So I would ask your developers if you're going to use this for software, ask them what format they want it in and what sizes they want it in. Or if it's for a designer that's going to use it in, the, in another project, just make sure and ask them for the details. But to mark these icons for export, all we have to do is click outside in our canvas area and in our layers panel we have access to all of these artboards. So we can mark these artboards for export by just clicking on these icons here and it's going to tell Adobe that these are the layers that I want to export as soon as I export everything in batch. You can also select the actual layer and click mark for export, but I highly recommend you don't do this. And the reason why is if we stack all of these icons on top of each other, you can see their different widths and heights and the bounding box is going to be different. And this is going to give your developers a headache as they try to position these inside of the program. If we undo this, we already have these bounding boxes that are the exact same so your developers can set one position and one size and know that things are going to look consistent. So again, I marked this for export, but I'm gonna uncheck this. I don't wanna export this. Another thing that's important is how these artboards are named because these are going to be the names of your files. So I have notification hyphen outlined and notification hyphen filled. And this will tell your developers the difference here and they can use this name in the code too. So I highly recommend not using spaces either. Use hyphens instead of spaces and your developers will love you for this. If you're just exporting these to use for print or other presentations and it's not code based, then you don't have to worry about this as much. If you're enjoying this free icon design tutorial, I have a complete course on learning Adobe XD for UI UX design. You can find a link in the description below with a steep discount included for my YouTube fans. This course will cover everything from learning the Adobe XD interface to designing and prototyping an entire app from start to finish. And now before we export our artboards, then if we click on an artboard, we can see that it has a fill enabled and we actually don't want this. So let's click on all of our artboards and let's make sure that that fill is removed. Basically, if we export this as an SVG or a PNG, we want to make sure that it's only exporting this shape in the bounding box and it's not giving us this white fill because we may want to slap this on top of a gray background or a blue background and so we don't really want that fill in there. Now let's go to File, Export in Batch and this is going to export everything that we've selected to be exported in Batch and you can save this to your desktop if you want and we have a few formats that we can save this. So we can save it in SVG and SVG is the same format that we've actually been editing this in. So we can open up these files in Adobe Illustrator, Affinity Designer, or any other vector program and re-edit these. So let me show you how to do that. If we choose SVG and click Export, we can come into these icons right here. And let's click on this Cloud Field, for example. So I'm gonna right click on this and open with Adobe Illustrator. You can see in Adobe Illustrator, I can click in this a few times. Let's click on this direct select tool and we have the same nodes that we can use. So we can adjust this icon however we want inside of Illustrator and we can re-export this again in Illustrator. So that's one reason you might wanna export in SVG. Now, more commonly, you may want to export in a raster based format such as PNG. So if we click File, Export, Batch, we can select PNG or JPEG. JPEG, the only difference between PNG and JPEG is PNG preserves transparency values. So most of the time, if not all the time, you'll want to save it as PNG. There may be a few cases where you want JPEG, but for now, let's just click on PNG. And then we have a few options. Do you want to just export this as a design in the same size that you designed them? Or if you want to export for the web, it's going to save a one times resolution version and a two times resolution version. And that's just because screens have become a lot more high resolution. And so if you're designing for the web, it just makes sure that these icons are really crisp, whether you're viewing it on an iPhone that has a really high resolution or a computer screen that might be lower resolution. Also iOS, it saves it as one, two, and three times resolution. 
and Android, it saves it in a few different resolutions. So let's choose iOS for now, just to show you how these are going to be saved. And before I save these, I'm actually going to just delete these SVGs so that you can see just the PNGs in here. And we can click export. And now we can see we have chat field, 2x and 3x. So if we open up our chat field here and we try to scale it up, you can see it's quite blurry. Doesn't look very good. And if we move over to the 2x version, we can see it's a little bit more clear. And the 3x version is even more clear than that. So that's how those resolutions work. So now that you have these icons exported, you can share them with your developers or with your teammates to work on with other designs. And they have nice versions between field and outlined.